What's everybody in the chat once again? Number one show for the fans by the fans is finally back up and running. We were so excited about tonight's win that uh, all hell broke loose from a technology <laughs> standpoint. <laughs> but once again, Jay Ellis finally get a W after a very tough start. Down by 17 in the first quarter. Mm-hmm. Battle back, battle back. Down by as much as 10. Yep. With about six minutes to go. 8 0 run. Bulls bring it back to an eight point lead with three minutes to left. The Knicks find a way to come back and win, man. Give me give me your takeaways from tonight's win, man. Uh it's Bobby's world, first of all. First and foremost, Bobby Portis came to hey, play. Bobby he came to red. play, man. Bobby yeah. came to play. Give credit where credit is due. He saw red, he saw his old team. He's like, oh. I'm coming to bring you today. I feel yeah. like he was in the gym early putting up those shots. Agreed. Got 28 points, one rebounds on the head. Mm-hmm. And plus, this guy had the nerve to play defense and had two blocks. <laughs> hey, <laughs> he, uh, you know what? I, I killed him past couple of games. I said, if he doesn't have it going, spread those minutes around. Because, again, I don't like the fact that, uh, you know, it, we, we have all these bigs playing because sometimes I just feel like we're, we're not, we're, we're playing out of size. You know yeah. what I mean? We're, we're at a disadvantage from a matchup standpoint. Tonight he delivered. Mm-hmm. T- tonight he delivered, no question about it. And and he deserves all his due. He went yeah. up against his former team, and and he delivered for us, man. He, he definitely did. You know what I, I liked about it was he he saw that he knew that Cornet couldn't guard him, <laughs> right? We we yeah. know we know that Corn we know that personally that Cornet does doesn't play defense. He's a nice stretch four, but he can't defend to save his life. We can't prevent the perimeter. I'll say that. Right. <laughs> so so Bobby went out there, did what he had to do, destroyed him, <laughs> and 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 he and he got it together, man. He got it together in the, in the end. You know, solid performance by Bobby P, bro. Yeah, very solid board. I love the three point shooting was on. The the he, even the post ups was working. I didn't scream them scream on him that much on defense. He was working out, man. He had the the Kurt Thomas crazy. Oh eyes. yeah, he was bugging. He was he you was know, he was ready to go. He was screaming, and at the end of the day, he he catered to the fans, man. He said, I'm proud to be a New York Nick. Athos hitting those dagger threes, and he catered to the fans. So you got to love that. Oh, no one else you got to love? Mm-hmm. The four from four from three-point ran. Because four we, was, for four. we was sucking from the three-point line. But yeah. My man had four for four. Shot 100%. Can't get any better than that. Shout out to Bobby Party. Shout, yeah. shout, shout out to Bobby P. He gets the MVP <laughs> of the night. Yeah. He was so hyped. I thought he was going to smack up John McEnroe, man. I thought he was going to body slam him right there. He was so hyped. Man. <laughs> <laughs> but, but shout out to Bobby P. Uh, other game ball, how about young R.J. Barrett? Oh, yeah. Once again, um, just doing a little bit of everything out there, JLs. R.J. doing a little bit of everything. 15 points tonight. Yep. Correction, 19 points tonight. 15 rebounds. Fifty percent, damn near for the field once again. R.J. Barrett, um, listen, he put us on his back in, in the fourth quarter. One of one of the one of the things that that wasn't solid tonight was his starting lineup. No, I, I had an issue with I have an issue with the lineup again. You were my mind. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't like um, the, the fact we don't have any shooters in this lineup. And it was evident these guys just weren't confident in their shot. I thought Mook's body language was off. His vibe was off the whole game. Horrible. Julius was <laughs> pressing the whole game. I think Julius is cracking under the pressure. Mm-hmm. And so I think RJ really was the calming force in that lineup consistently uh, on both ends. And, yeah, and, man. Yeah, he really delivered. Go ahead. Yeah, man. I feel like Mook, he does it. I mean, he's a good three-point shooter. But I feel like um, he's taking his role too seriously here like he's trying to be the man here mm-hmm. and it's taking over and, it, and he's he, he should be a little bit lower use his play he's trying to take over too much and it's affecting the team and then not only that when they're double teaming i felt the spacing was all weird they wasn't making the correct yeah like, and they and they don't move they don't move with that lineup and exactly and that was my final point yeah they don't move and that's why the second unit actually cut into the lead yes. because they were able to move without the ball more effectively than the first unit. Yes. They don't move, and that's why I don't like the pairing so far, this early stage. I yeah. don't like the pairing of uh, Randall and Morris with Mitch out there. I just think it's way too slow on the perimeter. Yeah. 
And I think it, it, it's way too slow offensively. And, and I think it, it bogs down too much. It bogs down too much. So, like I said, RJ was that guy. Once again, the jumper wasn't there, but he knew these guys couldn't guard him. You know, he had Archie the Yakino guarding him. Uh, he was bullying him the whole time. Every, everything was there. Easy Yo, bully money. ball is back. Bully ball is back, man. RJ Bully, man. Everything was there for him. So he was really a leader in getting us back. You know, the, the fourth quarter was crazy, man. The fourth yeah. quarter was crazy. Um, again, once again, being down by as much as 10, we cut it, tie the game up by Bobby's heroics. Bulls going yep. an 8-0 run right after that. One three-pointer by marketing, who who Clyde calls marketing. So, <laughs> marketing. <laughs> marketing, as okay, Clyde would say. He's an analyst. Okay, you know right. what I mean? So, marketing analyst. Three-ball by marketing. Another three ball by Zach Levine as part of an 8-0 run by the Bulls. We're down 98-90 to with three minutes left. At that time, I'm eating dinner. I'm like, oh, man, it's over. At that man. time, I'm, I'm I'm dragging myself to the studio like, man, it's going to be a long show tonight, man. Yeah. It's going to be a long show tonight. And, you know, the ironic part of it, of coming back from that point when we were down 98-90, to we go on a 15-2 to run. Get him. 15-2 run. Part of that was Bobby Portis' back-to-back corner threes. Yep. And guess who assisted it, Jails? The, iron- the irony of the whole thing was Julius. it was Julius Randle. Finally. Finally <laughs> passed it. He finally passes the ball. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I was like, thank you, Julius. Oh, my goodness, man. So, you know, it, it was ironic that Julius finally made that read because he's been struggling, man. He's been oh, struggling. Yeah. Yo, they obviously been watching tape and film and learning from mistakes because they cleaned up a lot of things they did wrong in the first few games in the mm-hmm. last 20 minutes. Like, if Julius passed out double teams, which is amazing. Yeah. One. Down the stretch, Julius wasn't handling the ball. Thank you. He doesn't Who need to handle the ball? the ball. RJ was handling the RJ ball. RJ was handling the ball. Roll. Yes. That's I was like, oh, let, is, this, is this what I'm seeing? Let it flow this, through RJ, growth? bro. Am let, I seeing growth from the coach? That's it. Oh my, and then and then you see Wayne Ellington diving through the hoop on an out of bounds play for an yes. easy layup. Is the coach right drawing up the plays? The sidelines out of bounds was executed. It was executed, <laughs> is this man. Team? Is this it? Yeah, absolutely. As we said, man, this is, because we don't have uh, the the point guard that we need right now, and and you know, let's. Be honest, it's probably not going to come this year. RJ needs, to, and we don't want to put too much pressure on him. And and you see that, you see that they they they're giving him that the rock as the lead guard later in games, Dude. in certain sp- in certain spurts, not the whole game. RJ's going to be the leader by next week, dog. <laughs> I'll say the end of the season. I'll, I'll say the end of the season is too soon. Yeah, next week, next week he's already the leader scorer of the team. Yeah, already. Yeah. We, we, we have to let this thing flow through RJ, man. No doubt about it. Have to it's let this even, thing flow through RJ. And, and what about Frank? Are we talking are you talking about? Now, that's what I wanted to transition to. Because, as we said Saturday night, we needed defense. And he chained mm-hmm. him to the bench. Yep. Okay? Tonight, I guess through, through uh, uh, no other option, because we didn't have DSJ, as Fizz says... We're gonna yep. we're gonna dip we're gonna get Frank's feet wet. That's what he said. <laughs> More like he needs to be playing the most minutes. Yes. I don't need Peyton. Like, listen, I like Peyton, man. He's a good kid. Met him at the meet and greet. Good kid. He's a backup. Like, if I'm if we're gonna be struggling and losing games, yeah, I, let me lose it with Frank playing defense. You yeah, know what man. I mean? Like today, today was the day was a day where I felt like Frank ran the offense. Pretty well. I didn't. Make, I didn't see him making too many stupid passes. I think he made two. Yeah. He, well, he had one well. where he tried to force it to Taj, and it wasn't right. there. Right. He had but that he, one. He tried to force it to Taj. It wasn't home. Right. But he's also set up his teammates for some easy buckets. Some were missed. He also drove pretty nicely. He did. He made the quick correct pass to make the defense react to the trapping double teams. He made a lot of correct plays that weren't super fancy, but it just got the defense moving and led to the correct play. So yeah. I feel like he did a good job. Yeah. Put the, put the pressure the on Kobe White. You force him into an eight-second violation. Yep. Exactly. Little things, man. Little things. We know we know the offense is garbage. We know that. And, and mm-hmm. he, he airballed two <laughs> layups. He, yeah. and listen, we, well, I'm not expecting points out of him right now, JL. That's how bad it is. I'm not expecting points. 
Yeah. Okay? But, like I said, the defense is necessary. And, yes, yeah. on the offensive side of things, I still think he could get these guys in the right position. Mm-hmm. And he found Julius on that nice um, um, dive to the bucket where he kind of hit, hit that hezzy with the right hand. You know yeah. what I mean? Faked like he was about to go for it. This found Julius. I like that. Yeah, and I feel like Frank will get a little bit more comfortable because I think um, Elbert Payton, I think he, he pulled his hamstring. That's what they said. He said he pulled his hamstring. I think he pulled his hamstring. His hamstring. Yeah. So we, uh, we said before that, you know, all three of these point guards are injury prone. Yeah. Like all three of them. Yeah. So it might take an injury to get some minutes, but it seems like the pathway is open up for Frank again. Yeah, so it's true indeed. It's like, we hate to see it happen this way. True. But I know, mean, I mean, like, bro, you know, he has now. He's going to have listen, the opportunity. Think that they they were able to contain, not stop the bleeding, but contain the bleeding when they put Frank and Ellington in the game. It just changed. The intensity stepped up. Mm-hmm. Everybody got after it. Frank and Taj were doing their thing. You yeah. know what I mean? It just it's changes things. It just does. I even saw Knox. He's like, you know what? I'm going to help on defense. Kev, too. Kev was active. Deal. Kev was yeah. active. Absolutely. Kev was definitely active. So, you know, the point is, is that, like I said, if we're going to be struggling all year to get the ball moving, then might as well put my defender out there. At least yeah. we could get stops. And, hey, maybe, maybe, um, oh, let me go back to my highlights here. Maybe <coughs> your y- your defense turns into your best offense exactly. for the time being. Just maybe. Just maybe. And I think the coach said, man, it, they changed the game, man. The second unit got five stops in a row once Frank entered the game, man. Like, you can't. You, you that's can't deny that no, That's something that no one else is really going to give us. Facts. I mean, it, I mean, it's pretty much undeniable at this point, bro. Yeah, man. Just let him grow. Let him grow offensively. Just, just let him grow, man. Get his minutes. <laughs> just let him grow and get his minutes, man. Honestly, man. Honestly. Uh, what else? What else? Kev, I thought Kev gave us some solid minutes. Yeah. I thought Kev gave us some solid minutes. Kev finished with, um, let me pull my points over on the stats. Kev finished with 14 points, 4-9 mm-hmm. from the field, 2-5 of five from 3. Okay. You know what I mean? And because Mar- Mars didn't have it tonight. I was almost nervous when he put him back into the game, <coughs> when Fizz put him back into the game because yeah, I, was tight. I, I, didn't, was tight. I didn't want him ruining the flow. I, I completely agree. Like when Kev, Kev was going... Granted, he missed one shot, but it was one shot. Let him keep going. Like yeah. Marcus, and here's the thing: this is Marcus missed 27 shots before that. Like Kevin shooting is what 70. We'll see. Kev finished the night 55 percent from yeah. the field. 75. Kev, from he's getting more efficient, bro. That was a, that was one of his biggest uh, deficiencies last year. Was was mm-hmm. was how inefficient he was, and, and now he, he's getting in even off the bench, even off the yeah. bench. Even off the bench. But you know what? I would be pissed if he lost this game with Marcus in there. Mm-hmm. One, so I'm going to look the other way, CP. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you can't uh, you can't knock it, man. 